The Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special was written and directed by James Gunn, just like the first two films, and shot in the middle of production for the third film, which is upcoming. And in this special, the Guardians are feeling bad that Peter isn't able to celebrate Christmas because no one on Nowhere knows what Christmas is. In fact, there's a very humorous opening number that communicates just how much they don't know about Christmas. So Mantis and Drax come up with a scheme to give Peter the best Christmas present of all time. His childhood hero, Kevin Bacon. Except they don't really know what that means. They think Kevin Bacon's a real hero who saved a city because of his dancing, and that was just a character in Footloose. And so they set off on a trip to abduct Kevin Bacon and bring him to Star-Lord. <laughs> And as much as you can spoil things in the Guardians Holiday Special, I will give you that warning. I am going to talk about everything. It's been out for a few days. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Come back. The first Marvel special, Werewolf by Night, I had a chance to see at Fantastic Fest in theaters, and I really enjoyed it. I think Michael Giacchino has a bright future as a filmmaker. And with this second special, James Gunn didn't just wing it. This doesn't feel like it was a paycheck for anyone involved. In fact, there was a lot of really great ideas in it. One of the things I instantly noticed was the opening animation was more than likely a tribute or should we say an in memoriam to the Star Wars holiday special. The doomed, horrific thing that exists. Oof. Probably the best part of that special, though, was an animation that introduced the character of Boba Fett for the first time. And Gunn is clearly giving a playful wink to that wonderful holiday special that we all love so much. One of the things that's great about both Guardians movies is that the characters that aren't familiar with Earth customs say and do things that don't make any sense to us, but make sense to them, and they're very serious about it, and that's why it's so funny. And this special explores that considerably with the customs of Christmas. Initially with a band played by the old 97s that have no idea what Christmas is and write a song about Christmas from the perspective of somebody who doesn't know what Christmas is to hilarious results. But also Mantis and Drax and the entire idea that they should go to Earth and abduct an actual human being and that Peter will like that. Or for instance, once they learn that Kevin Bacon is an actor, they're repulsed by that. Acting is a wonderful <laughs> profession. I mean, you don't get to live just one life. You get to live so oh, many lives. And we got Quill the worst gift ever. A disgusting actor. <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. This is funny for more than one reason, though, because you can tell that everyone involved is making fun of themselves, since they are actors as well, and there's an extra layer to the joke. This plays with so many really great ideas that are stuffed into what is essentially a really good TV episode if a Guardians of the Galaxy show existed, and probably one of the better ones. But Gunn understands everything that's great about the holiday special episode in the middle of a TV show. I mean, when I was a kid, wasn't allowed to celebrate Christmas, but I secretly really enjoyed the Hey Arnold Christmas episode, where Arnold's trying to locate Mr. Wynn's long lost daughter. The X-Files had a great episode where Mulder and Scully are trapped in a haunted house during Christmas. This feels like the best version of that. If you had a long running show and there was just this great little one-off where they do nothing but talk about Christmas, or at least what they think Christmas is. <laughs> Seeing slightly older Groot was great, as well as the after credits scene where Groot is doubling as a Christmas tree. I also liked when they wheel Kevin Bacon out in a box <laughs> for Star-Lord, and the whole area is decorated. He's so touched, it's very heartwarming. But then that box starts to move, and his face changes, and he's like, oh my god, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I really didn't expect to talk about this, but even the ending, I found really heartwarming and touching. This idea that Mantis finally can reveal to Quill that she is his sister. And I was, like, admittedly very taken aback by how much that affected me. Maybe it's because now I can celebrate Christmas with the family I never had now that I have children. And I'm feeling extra emotional about that, perhaps? I'm actually very excited about this holiday season. I think that throughout December, I would like to talk to you guys about a few different Christmas movies. Past few years, I've done one or two every Christmas. I think this December, I'll try to do a few throughout the month and just enjoy the season. It's not gonna be crazy like the Halloween special. That, that I, That's just, that's a whole different beast. <laughs> this will be a few things every once in a while, and I hope you guys enjoy those videos. I'm excited to make them. Check out the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. It honestly is much better than I thought it would be. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to more videos very soon, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.